Okay, um, just a quick uh, injury update. Uh, I have Kenny Moore with the ribs, so we'll get him an MRI real quick and uh, check up on him. Uh, really, really proud of the way the guys played, right? A complete team win in all three phases. Just came out aggressive, locked in. You know, we just wanted to get prepared. We knew we were coming on the road, division, a lot at stake, but really still just focused on getting better. Still got a long way to go, a lot of games to go. This was an important one, but it was just the next one. And uh, just like the way that we came out, more aggressive in all three phases. And uh, the players just got it done. So um, open it up to questions. Kevin Bowen. Frank, what was the mood at half? And do you think that was the best half you guys have played all season, that second half? Um, well, we finished the way we needed to finish, certainly, Kevin, uh, for sure. So for this year, yes, it is. And uh, the mood was great. Um, you know, we knew we knew it was, we just kind of came in, said this is what we expected, a, a tight game. It was going back and forth. Felt like we were able to do some things, but we just needed to lock in and, and finish finish it off, which, which we did. George Bremer. Coach, is this the Michael Pittman you expected to see when you drafted him in the second round? Yeah, no, he looked he looked explosive. He looked like a beast with the football in his hand. Um, had a chance to get him going, looked good on the reverse. So, yeah, he, he did what we needed him to do today. Zach Kiefer? Frank, I know you guys always want to get Naheem involved, but uh, there are games when he barely touches the ball and there are games where he goes crazy um was that a focal point tonight did you see him having this kind of an impact or was it just his night it was his birthday i mean you know i mean a little birthday present to him no i'm just kidding um no i mean he just came out and he just he just had fire in his eye i can't explain it Rath, coach rathman came up to me on the sideline and said naheem is on fire and i said leave him in you know i said leave him in we'll just give him a break when he needs a break but let's Let's ride it. Um, he was, he came out ready to play and he, he always does, but every now and then, you know how it is. You're in the zone. You got a little extra juice and Naheem had that today. So look, look great out there. When did Rathman tell you that Frank? It was, it was early. It was in the first quarter. Mike Chappell. Frank, we talked last week after the game, how it was an opportunity lost. Today was just the flip side, wasn't it? I mean, yes, it was one and zero, but AFC South implications and all this. Isn't this more, is this like one and a half on it? I know we're not. Yeah, I mean, it was, it, it was a good opportunity. You're right, Chap. I mean, it was um, a little bit of redemption from last week, but no, I think they only count one. You know, we got a big, another big one this week and then again against these guys in two weeks. So um, this was important though. I mean, it, it's one and oh, but we came in ready to play and had the right mindset and, uh, and then finished it off. Joel Erickson. Frank, I hate to have to ask, but uh, with Al-Qadim Muhammad uh, getting ejected there, what did you see on that and, and what's your reaction? Joel, I mean, I, I tried, you know, I asked the official afterwards, I, you know, or right after the play, I said, what happened? He said something about somebody getting hit on the head. I, I wasn't able to see it, but certainly don't, we don't condone that or, or like that happen. Stephen Holder. Frank, uh, really aggressive on the fourth downs tonight. Um, just, I, I know you, you you skew that way anyway, but um, was there any sort of common thread between the aggressiveness in terms of your decision making? Just trust in the players. I mean, you know, look, we're three for five. I mean, we got to be better than that, honestly, in a game like this. Um, and and you know, we we had a couple. We got stopped on a couple drives. You know, some short yardage running there that is not happy about. Um, from both the coaching and playing standpoint. So we'll get that cleaned up. But just felt like we needed to be aggressive. I, you know, I know Coach Vrabel, you know, he's going to be aggressive. You know, this is just one of those games. There's, everything's, there's a lot on the line in this game, how to be aggressive in all three phases. All right, we'll go two more. Jim Maiello. Hey, Frank, it looked like a TV broadcast caught the, you have conviction written on your, on your play card. I was wondering if you could tell us why that is and, and how long you've, you've had it there. It's been there for it's been there for a couple of years, you know. I just not as a it's for me personally, right? Just a reminder to me, you know, to, to to play with conviction, to call plays with conviction, to you know have conviction in what we're doing, to have conviction in who we're doing it with, and uh, you can't flinch. And um, so that's just a reminder. On, on, is that is that a word? I mean, I'm sure you you have that the whole time. Is that a word you look at on fourth downs in particular? 
Uh, yes, yeah, to me, it's just important all the time. Um, it's important all the time, but yeah, when it, most certainly on the most crucial calls, that's really when you need it. You got to have confidence and conviction in the call and in the players executing. All right, last one, Greg Doyle. Sorry for everybody on deadline. Frank, we're always asking you questions about Philip when he's not perfect. Um, he wasn't perfect tonight, but he was damn close. Would you, would you fill me in on, you know, why he had the game he had tonight? What was working for him? Well, you're certainly right about that. He, he was he was perfect. I mean, he was, I had that feeling all week. You know, we got in the no huddle mode. And, you know, just he and I have done a lot of that together, you know, over the years. And just we, we talked about it during the week, he and I and Nick. And, um, you know, he and I and Nick talked about it during the week. And then in the last 30, 24, 48, you know, 24 hours, just really – decided to, you know, to be convicted, to have conviction about going with it almost the whole game. And, um, you know, Phillips just, he's in control. I mean, that puts him in the driver's seat, allows him to, you know, allows him to see everything and get us in the right play when he needs to, uh, which he did with regularity tonight. Um, I've just, he's just really good in that mode and he was accurate, good decisions, good checks in the run game, um, good situational football. Um, so he, he was on point tonight for sure.